Hey everybody. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> You're running my entrance, Nick. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's it. <laughs> Coming at you with another exciting video. And this is the shelter that I've been talking about for the past two or three videos and haven't been able to get around to getting to it. So we got two backpacks full of goodies and we're gonna, uh, I guess we're gonna start out by uh, unloading our backpacks and setting everything on the ground. And before we get started on the shelter, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the basis of what it is. And I had several names for it. It was the fire pan pyramid shelter, the fire pan TP tarp shelter. Uh, never could decide because I was gonna make, I was gonna sew a special cover for it. It looked like a pyramid, but I never did get around to it. I'm just using a giant cover. <laughs> Because we know how covers get burnt up around me. So I'm just, <laughs> they do, don't they? So we're just going to use just, just a cover to start out with. and uh, But you'll get the basic idea of the framework for this thing. And actually, basically what few pieces it takes to throw the shelter together. So we're going to empty out our backpacks and then start ga gathering up some wood and some things to uh, get the shelter going. Oh, around my knee. You're digging a hole in the ground with your knee. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's take our backpacks off first right here. All right, I got my water right here and my molly pouch, and we'll set it right over here out of the place of the camera. Give me your canteen, Nick. Right. And Nick's got his. So between us, we've got a gallon of water, and we've got a filter. So I'm going to take my pack off here. Swap across the way around back. All right. Let's take the pack off. I have a medium Alice pack with my pad, and Nick has his large Alice with the pad. He's carrying the bulk of the weight. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do, let's open this up so we can take a look. Sorry about the shadows. Let's see. A little bit of cordage that we don't need. Now here's my kit. My it's handy to carry things that you don't need with yeah. you. <laughs> yes, yes. Words of wisdom from Nick. <laughs> handy to carry things you don't need. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be a rough video, ain't it, Nick? Oh yeah. Okay. Eventually you'll need it. Eventually. Uh, yeah, yes, eventually. Probably. Okay. Now there's my hardware kit. Let's see. This is a tart thing I'm gonna need. Okay. This is the heart of the matter right here. Now, I'm not pulling anything else out of my pack because. I have that. So, all right, let's pull this out right here because we're going to lay everything out on this tarp right here. And I'll adjust the camera down <clears throat> so we can kind of get a look at it. All right, let's aim the camera down a little. All right, give me your backpack there, Nick. Alrighty. So what we're going to do now here with Nick's backpack is we're going to undo this strap right here. Undo these bungees. Alright, now here's Nick's sleeping pad. So what we're going to do with it is we're going to unroll it to get to what we need to get to. And I'm going to put this over there with my pad. Let's see what we've got inside here. I think... Man, there's some serious shadows right there on the camera. What we got in here, I think. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. We're going to pull these out for now. Sleeping bag's not really that important. I'm not going to take any more of that other stuff. So what we got here is this is the basis for the shelter. <clears throat> in here, in this pouch, and in this green bag, this is our shelter and our kitchen. Now, if you ask me, that right there is pretty lightweight for a nice warm evening where you can cook in the woods. Now, I'm going to get you down real close where I can open this bag up and show you a little bit more about it. All right, now I got you at another view, and I got Nick behind the camera where he can kind of keep an eye on us. So, like I said, this little, this amount here is all we need for a nice warm evening. If we have to, we can cook inside and sleep inside. It's our shelter and our kitchen. Now what this is, is this is simply nothing but, let's see if I can get it out. Uh, 
Any day now. Any day now. Now this is a specially prepared 18 by 20 tarp. And when I say specially prepared, what does that mean, Nick? What is that in your mind? Uh, it's special. Actually, specially <laughs> prepared simply means I cut a hole in it. All right, there's oh, one that's of convenient. them. It's convenient. Always bring tarps for shelters with holes in them. Now here is the other thing. Life tips. Here, ease the camera down here for a minute. All right, let's see. go down here. All right, can you see the bag? Yeah, okay, yep. you got me right on the bag. Now, I'm gonna undo this. Let's just pull the whole thing out. Now this is a new design, and it's based on an older design of one of my mentors that was done with a hubcap. But this is in, isn't a hubcap. Okay, we got eating plates, sporks, uh, instant coffee with coffee cups, mm -hmm. two bags of uh, rice, long grain Mahatma rice, a couple of leather holders. There's two pots inside here, and then a pot holder. We don't need none of that right now. All right, so let's take this, set this to the side. Oh man! And drop it while you're at it. Drop it while I'm at it. Now this is the nuts and bolts of the right. the idea. This is an aluminum aluminum pan, and I have laid a fire blanket in it, just a piece of a fire blanket, and I've got four holes drilled in the sides. Now, usually when I have a fire pan, I'll fill it full of dirt, but I'm not using dirt this time. This time, I am using a, um, a piece of fire uh, blanket, just to try to help make this last longer, all right? And then this is the true nuts and bolts of the shelter. Looks weird, don't it? Mm -hmm. But it's a quarter inch thick stainless steel ring welded with this structure in the middle. Now, little more needs to be said about this. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some legs for this thing because this is for the top of the uh, pyramid TP. And uh, we're gonna put, once we get the legs on there, you're gonna get more of an idea. Then once the legs are done, then we're gonna go through what's in this hardware kit, small kit. We're not gonna use all the parts and pieces but this can be used to, this can be used, the parts and pieces in here can set it up as either a regular pyramid or a pyramid with a porch. We don't know what we're going to do. We're not real sure. We may just make it as a pyramid. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make the legs for this little jewel here, how this thing works with no cordage. All right, we ready to go, Nick? Oh yeah. All right, old man. <laughs> Let's go. Time to go to work. <laughs> All right, I found a, a perfect size right here for one of the legs. And what we, what we got to do is we got to come up with four legs for this thing. Now, when I saw the first leg, all the other three will be based off of this one leg right here. So somewhere, let's go with the uh, right here. All right, let's come up here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's go with it right here. Huh? I know, it takes forever. <laughs> trying to eyeball it. Now this other piece here will be firewood. Yeah, that'll be firewood right there. Every time I cut a scrap off, it'll be firewood. Now, let's see, this thing here, the way you want to prepare these, I'm only going to prepare one and then I'll do the others. That works a little overhead high. So what you want to do now is you want to take this thing and I want to see which way it's naturally going to set. And I think it's naturally going to set this way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start right here and I'm going to saw halfway through. Sawdust all over my new pants. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Oh no, the world's this. coming to an end. <laughs> oh no. And I'm gonna set my machete right here. Huh? And cut it just like that. Now what I'm gonna do. Hang on, I missed that. Could you rewind it? 
<laughs> it ain't no rewinding. <laughs> Alright, let's get this right here. Alright, make sure everything's cut nice and flat. Now what I have is I have a nice flat on here. And I have it in the natural position to where this is sitting flat like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to cut it at an angle. I'm cutting a cutting a triangle into it here. Surprised that hasn't broken yet. I know. How easy the tip just cracked by uh, tapping it on a tree. Well, that's because I was splitting with the grain. Uh, and there's a knot on this side. Knots are never good. All right. So what I'm gonna do? That's what the top of it's gonna look like. And I ha if I have to trim it off later, I'll do that. Okay. Now once that's done. All these little knots up here on the top side, you want to hack them off and all this bark so that you don't uh, po poke a hole in your tar. Any of this rough stuff here. Well, unless, like you said, your tarp already has a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, but that was an intentional hole. Well, for people that want to get wet when it rains? Uh, yeah, if you want to get wet, yeah. Well, if you really want to get wet, just don't use a tarp. <laughs> uh, Alright, so. This is going to make more sense after I got all the legs done. And that is it. Alright, oh, one more thing. Let's see. Let me put this up. One more thing is up here on the top where I have these sharp edges, I'm going to want to carve them, which shows me, gives me a good reason to show off the knife I won. <laughs> that fire contest I was in, this is at a Pathfinder Knife Shop Buffalo Skinner. It's got a Scandi grind. Mm -hmm. Really nice knife. So, oh, what you yeah. want to do with this is you want to round off everything up here on the tip. Anything that might poke a hole in your tarp while you're dragging the tarp over. Just kind of curl that off. This will be the last thing that you'll want to do because if you curl it off like that, it'll make it to where you can't necessarily see the triangle part of it. So, and that's it. It's like a triangle on the end. Nothing to it. Ain't that neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do the other three legs. What Nick doesn't realize is I'm going to force him to do one of the legs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I slowly came down with the flu. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. Alright, well, we're going to cut them other legs off and then we'll get right back with you. Alright. Wish me luck. Alright. You hear that echo there? Yeah, a woodpecker. Yeah, middle of winter. You got that woodpecker there. Yeah. All right, we got four of these logs done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of set them here in a crisscross type pattern. And then I'll pull them up as I need them. And I'm going to show you the idea behind this. Now, the reason for this is that this fits perfectly in like that. But what you're going to want to do 
is lean it up. Now that doesn't even need any carving because what it does is when you put it together, this is gonna lean up at an angle like this. And when you get it all put together, it's not gonna twist because you've got a flat holding it, keeping the logs from twisting. Because sometimes when you put one together, this thing here, I used to make it with holes and it would twist. And then that's when I came upon the idea of cutting the flat in the triangle and it actually holds and it won't twist. So let's see if the, uh, if the others sit pretty good. One. Now you want it to be over your head. And see, that's perfect right there. And what you want to do is kind of spread them out so that they're under some pressure. Now, if you can see, this thing won't twist. Normally, it'll twist. If it was if it was round, it would twist. We're gonna pull this up. Put this in. Spread this out a little bit, just like that. Now we'll probably have to clear some of that out. Now see, it's already freestanding and it's not moving. Everything is holding up on its own. So let's take the final one and slide it up in. And you want to lean the whole structure up and over and then kind of stretch it out. I grab all four of them. And stretch them out. I think I'm going to drag this over a little bit. Just like that. There you go. See? All right, you get the basic idea. Come in here a little bit closer, Nick, and kind of, kind of get an eye of this right here. Huh? Let's see, see you. You oh, kind of is the sun in you? Go around this way right here. To see what you've got now is this thing is all perfectly in, perfectly in place. It's a little blurry. Yeah, and so I, you see how I carved these off the top, and now once you get these things back in the top, if you see anything else that you think might rip your tarp then you can kind of give it a trim so that when you drag your tarp across the top you don't cut it now all these look like they're pretty good you don't see no sharp edges do you no all right and see now the idea behind this is the way it's got a hole right in here is you can make a uh, you can make a hanging wooden stick and hang it over here and have a fire in the shelter if you want to but we're not we're going to actually have the fire pan hanging from the roof and this is going to be the open stack now if you think it's going to rain or snow or whatever i got an umbrella that we can mount right here in the center hole but it's not going to it's just going to be cold so we're not going to have that so i'm going to clear out some of these briars right here and these vines and stuff and then we're going to drag the uh the, the tarp over the top of it all right all right. all right, the next part is putting on the cover, which is no big deal, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on since you're going to get the, kind of a basic idea of it. Now, I might take the cover off of it when we go to do the fire just for the simple fact so that you can actually see what I'm doing. All right. Now, I'm going to throw it on there. What you want to do is unravel it until you get to the hole in the middle. Mmm, can't wait to get wet because of that hole in the middle of it. <laughs> there, there's the hole. It's been sewn and reinforced. I didn't just cut it. That is how you get the car on.
You want to kind of spread everything out a little bit. Now we're going to pin all this down later, but when you go to go inside it, you can either take a log or a ridge line, and you can pull open one end down low so that you can crawl under and get through it, okay? And so what we'll do is once we've got the uh, fire going, we're going to crawl in there, and all we we'll do is lay down our pads and our sleeping, uh, sleeping bags. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this back so that I can show you how the pan works because there's just no way of filming this with this uh, cover over it. All right, I got that wadded up right there. I'm gonna see if that's gonna stay. That's going to stay for just a minute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what's in here. Oh, uh, it's just like Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's open this thing up and see what's inside here. What'd I get this year? <laughs> this oh, is I kind of like wait. a little hardware kit that I use. The suspense is driving me nuts. Now this thing inside this pouch here I have, uh, <clears throat> this is a stainless steel uh, leader. Uh, cable wire for holding up the pot. I'll show you that in a minute. That's some carabiner uh, Some carabiners and then inside here are some of those bungee cords with the balls on them and then in here I've got some paracord And some more stainless steel leader. I think this is some hooks Oh, I always wanted hooks. some hooks. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? And then I got a bunch of stakes right here for staking out the TP thing. We'll stake them all out except for the back side But what I'm wanting for right now is I'm gonna get a couple of these some of these bungee cords here because I'm gonna pull this uh, tarp up. So we've only got about 30 minutes of daylight left, so I gotta get this done. Look, this is all tangled up. This is what happens when you're mis unorganized, misorganized, unorganized. All kinds of hooks and things. There's another bungee cord. How many have I got here? Let's see what this little handful does. <clears throat> all right, let's see. These little mini bungees will hold this up to where we can see what we're doing. Yeah, that'll hold. And then the whole shelter fell over. <laughs> oh, no, it won't. Oh, so that's what the holes are for. <laughs> the hole. What do you mean? There's one in the bungeeing it up. Yeah, now, so that's bungeeing it normally. Okay, that's, that's the last joke about the hole. <laughs> okay. So normally this will be all spread out. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, take some of these uh, things here. So let's put this back in. I'm going to take some of these homemade stakes and I'm going to stake around the, the, uh, the tarp here and pull it tight. Okay. Now as you can see what I've done is you can see how the corner there is stretched out with a... Uh, some uh, spikes, stakes, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> I use used stakes. You just stick them into the ground and it holds the grommet down. But there's a lot more room in there now. And I'll carry you inside there and show you in a minute. See, with the tarp all stretched out now, you have a ton more room inside there. It's a really, really huge one. And you can see the ring up top right there. You can hear Nick over there sawing off in the distance. He's getting some more firewood. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put my uh, I'm gonna put my pad over there so that I'll know that it's away from the fire. Now I went ahead and stuck my pad right over there 
in that corner because I know that uh, I got to be the fire's got to be far away from it. Now, if you're going to look right here, you can see the distance from where mine is all the way over to this other leg, and this will be where the other end of the tarp is. And I bet Nick is going to put his way over in that corner right over there, his pad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on setting the ring up inside there, the fire pan. All right, now I got my uh, pan up and I got my little hardware thing here. And uh, I'm filming while Nick is messing around with some firewood for later tonight. Because <laughs> we are running out of daylight. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is inside my little magic pouch, let's pull these leaders out. What they are. They're all tangled up with these bungees. I need a better organization for this because they've got hooks on them. Let's see. Now what these are is these are crimped and they have little stainless hooks permanently attached to them. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unroll these things. <clears throat> all right. They're all, I've got four of them the same length and they've all got hooks on them. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take them in there and I'm going to hang all four of them from the roof. And then I'm going to hang the pan on. We're inside and I think it looks weird right here because this is that big wad of, uh, that's that big wad of tarp. I'm trying to move it over. Move it over here where you can see it. So all you do is you take these little hooks right here. Take these little hooks with the rods and you uh, find a place to hang them. Either on one side or the other so you're not even getting this. Let me see where you're hanging this. It's, kind of, it's always hard to film. Okay, you either want to put it on one side or the other of this so that they're even. All right, so let me get these unhooked. I'm going to hook one on, on every side. Just like that. Take another one. Let's see. I don't think you can see this. Let's move this down. So I'm putting this on one side, and then I'm gonna put this other one over on one side. So what I've got now is I've got I've got four cables here. I got four cables hooked up. So what I do now is I'm gonna put the pan up at the bottom. All right, I got you down here at the bottom and I've got the, uh, I've got the fire pan with the fire blanket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook these cables to here, finishing up putting these, uh, putting these hooks on. They go through these little holes in here. So what I've got now is I've got a pan that is off the ground. And say so I don't have to worry about clearing out none of these leaves or anything because I can't catch it on fire. And the fire blanket kind of insulates the underneath of it here. Ain't that neat. All right. So the fire pan is not touching the ground. And it's not, it's, it's not so high up that I've got to worry about the sparks coming off and landing on us. Now I want to show you something right here. I'm going to try to film Turn this like this. You see the fire pan swinging from there. Now let's ease up to the top, and then you can see hopefully the four hooks up there, the way they're hooked on here. And then there's the notches, and then there's my tarp. Now I want to show you something else. If I can back up over here into this corner, I want to show you something. The way this is designed, that fire pan right there is in the center. Okay, it's in the center of the teeth. Okay, there's the very center of the teepee. We got uh, equal distance on all sides. Now I want you to look and see how far away my bed is. Man, that's far away. It is far away. See, you've got plenty of room to be away from the fire. Oh, yeah. And if you want to, you could scoop closer. Now, if you'll go all the way over there, you can see there's that same amount of distance all the way over to that log. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to hang the pot from it and then uh, we're going to start the fire. As we're getting back into our little kit here, and this is the crown jewel of what we're doing. I have another cable and another hook. Okay. So what we're going to do 
Because this is the beauty of it. Is I crimp those others. Let's see if this is all tangled up. Okay, I have crimped the others. Just like this, the way I crimped this. And this is going to hang from the top. Now the beauty of this thing is it's crimped in several places with loops. Which makes it adjustable. All right, and I didn't hang a hook on the bottom so that I can move the hook from place to place. And I have the hook separately so that I can use different size pots. All right, so we're just gonna make a little bit of water before bed. Let's see, where's this at? All right, so I hang this somewhere up here at the top, just like that. And now this hangs, let's see, now that's too low. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want that hanging over the fire. If I remember right, I believe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over to the side and then I'm gonna run it over. Wait a minute, wrong way. <laughs> don't worry, we can't over. see it anyway. I'm gonna put it over high, they can't see it anyway. No, they don't right, know. Put this over here so it's <laughs> in the center and run it over to the side. Now I've got the height that I want. Now see right here, this will be dang near touching the fire. Then that loop right there will be right there in the fire. And then say I can move it on up as I need to go up. Let's put it all the way up here at the top. And then this part I'm just going to hang right here so that it doesn't get too hot. We're just going to leave this right here and then we're going to build a fire right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some weight in it. Put a little bit of water in here. Definitely need to get a fire going. It's supposed to go oh, in yeah. the, it's supposed to get in the teens tomorrow. Oh yeah, and and not to mention we got to put all this stuff in here before it gets dark. Because somebody forgot to bring a flashlight. You, I have a flashlight for myself. <laughs> and a little bit for me. He don't have a flashlight. Huh? See that? Yeah, I have a flashlight. He doesn't. <laughs> I forgot mine. I'm glad too. All right, let's get some wood and start the fire right here. So that we can see how it looks. <laughs> Alright, now normally I will use my saw and I'll take my time and it'll be very safe and cut firewood, but we're running out of daylight and we're running out of battery. This cold weather is zapping my camera. So Nick brought his axe, thankfully. Nick is always thinking ahead. Nick has everything. Yes, I do. That's why a backpack's 50 pounds. That's why he has a <laughs> medium owl, a large Alice, and I've got a medium. So let's okay. make some firewood real quick. Whoa, whoa. Getting logs thrown at the cameraman. <laughs> I'm trying to get the angle right to where it won't do it. Man, what's going on? Here he is cutting his own wood, and I've got my own nice stack of firewood over there. Look at that. Well, this is the smaller stuff for getting it going. I wish I'd have done this earlier. Now, how do you split firewood, Nick? Mmm. <laughs> well, certainly not doing that. <laughs> see, if he would... Oh, now, let me grab these here real quick. See, I if, make a point. Okay? If he would be using a handy saw like I use, I use this nice saw right here. Nice and I sharp. Know, I know after all do. that wood right there. All, right, all of that wood. Okay, Nick. And it's okay. not flying everywhere while I'm cutting it. <laughs> Is this how you split wood? Well, you have to move your hand first. Is it yes or no? Yes, but move your hand. <laughs> Wrong. This is how you do it. Just like that. Was I at least right about the hand part? <laughs> yes, she was right about the hand part. Move your hand. Don't don't do it that way. Alright. So we're gonna split a few pieces. I can't remember which season it was on a loan. Do you remember that when somebody was cutting cutting wood with their hand down on it? It was either the when first or the second. But that's not oh, a good idea. They cut their hands wide open. They did, and that was terrible. Whew. All right, we're fixing to have enough. I don't know why people insist on holding wood Six. like that. Now we're about to have enough firewood. Well, we're now gonna we're... have enough to start it. What's the what? Did what you are show we using? What the... you did over there? Yeah, what are we using that pile for then? This is for starting the fire. All these little pieces. Normally I will baton it, but we are in a hurry. 
One more. Hey, look, it landed near the fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can see it, but it's right near the pan. Alright, there you go. Instant firewood. Alright, let's ease on over there. Now, where's your pouch at? Okay. I don't know, I lost it. You know better than that. I know. That's you know what funny. I also know better than you at? What? Bring a flashlight. I know, yeah. I know. All right, come on, let's go over here. <laughs> Try this pouch, I got a handy dandy fire kit. This is for camping. This is not for bushcraft or survival. <laughs> what this is, it's two lighters and some cotton pads. Guaranteed to get it done. And some waterproof matches. Let's mm -hmm. we'll set this right over here for a minute. Let's take one of those. Let's get a lighter. Take a piece of this. Don't light yourself on fire. No, don't light yourself on fire. I know you like doing that. Yep. What we're going to do... Not really. I'm going to pull this apart a little bit. Like that. And what I'm going to do... Is let's fluff this up. You aimed over here. Yep. Let's go. Nice shot of that. Woo. All right, Comes up so quick. I got that going. I'm going to lay some sticks in here. I think we should have cleared out some of the leaves first. Nope, that's the idea behind it. Is I want everybody to see that you don't necessarily have to. No, I mean all the leaves around the, and under the shelter. That's what I'm saying. It's a fire pan. You don't have to. You can leave the leaves. As a matter of fact, you can pile more leaves in there. The fire blanket is the key. Okay, the fire blanket is how you can get going with this. Hopefully I'm going to have, I may put some pieces on here in a little while with the smoke. Because we're going to see how the smoke comes out the opening in the roof. Now, it may not work out properly at first. We may suffocate. <laughs> no, well the thing <laughs> is, is you got to have the tarp all the way on it. I say I'm about to kill that. you got to watch these flames here. Throw a leaf on pieces. it. Huh? Throw a leaf on it. That always works. Let's try that. Yet. Doesn't last long, but no. Hey, it works. We'll get it going in a minute and I'll start putting this other wood on there. <laughs> All this wood out here is damp. But I've got another pad that I can use if I have to. Now say once this thing gets to where I can't hold it anymore, I'll lay it on there and then lay another one on. What? It's actually, no, we're not it's actually an already burned log right next to me. There it is? Yeah. Okay. We did not do this. There was already a log that is burnt. Are you sure? Noticed. Yeah, look at it. Burnt or rotten? No, it's burnt. That's burnt. Alright. Let's take well, some that's pretty tender. Here. You could probably burn that. Do what? You could probably burn that. Probably could. Alright, we're going to lay all these pieces like this. And then once this thing gets, gets going, we're going to have to make sure that all these pieces are inside here. See how I have not killed the flame yet. I've still got a flame growing in there. I'm leaving an opening for it. How many minutes is on the camera there, Nick? Uh, 320. Ooh, all right, better cut it off. We're gonna let this fire get going. And then we'll cut it back on because I honestly, I forgot the cord on the big battery. We have no <laughs> way of recharging that uh, camera. When it's done, it's done. And I wanna finish this video. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer this question what? before it blows up in the comments. What? Yes, he forgets things a lot. Hey, you like know, I said, I was it, in a hurry. It, just, just another thing. He just, he forgets flashlights. Just simple things, just flashlights, you know? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> All right, you, you, you young whippersnapper. <laughs> Yo, there's an, there's an adult in one of my classes at school now. He actually referred to all of us as whippersnappers. That's an old man saying. <laughs> I laughed at it. Alright, go ahead and cut that thing off. Now I put that little bit of uh, grass on it. So you can see the smoke coming up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more on it. So that you can see. So that you can see that it's rising even though it doesn't have the... Uh, even though the cover is open on this side, because the efficiency of the shape of it works like that. 
Now I'm going to move my water down here closer. There you go. Put this on here. I think that'll work right there. Now I'm going to try to put some more grass on here so that we can see, even with this thing open, I'm going to try to catch on camera uh, the smoke going up. So let's try this again. All right. Now, I don't think you can see the smoke against the green background. Mm. But that's the basic idea of it. Ain't that neat? Whew. Nigs, it feel warm already in there? No, because we got a, huh? the whole side over here open. <laughs> I know that's true. It'll warm up in a little while. Now here's another view of it. You can kind of see the framework of it. And once we close the front of it, the whole thing will look like that. But on the other side where the tarp is rolled up, it's extra long so we can crawl under it. So I'm going to get uh, Nick to put some more grass on the fire. Let's see if we can get some smoke coming out that smoke hole at the top. All right, Nick, put the grass on the fire. Now, I think it's weird usually in these shelters. I think it's I think it's funny that you don't want smoke on the fire and smoke on the shelter. And uh <coughs> Oh, excuse me. He's even putting grass on the fire and we can't get smoke. <laughs> but you can see the color. You can see the heat and the fumes coming off the top. At least I can. I don't know if I'm picking it up on camera or not. But anyway, that's a that's pretty much a view of it right there. I'll bring you around and get you another view of it with the front cover open because the battery's just about dead. I see Nick's already took his jacket off and he's right in there beside the fire. You can see the width of the the TP, pyramid TP, compared to where the fire pan is. Here's my battery that I brought and I forgot the I forgot the, the, the cord to plug my camera up. So, that really stinks. Nick, is the water starting to boil yet? Nah, not really. Hey, there's steam coming off it, ain't there? I didn't put much water in there. Something boiling, but yeah, there's a little steam. Yeah, there's steam coming off of it. That's pretty neat. And I guess you see the idea behind all the little loops right there. That's how you adjust it. And it's just hanging right up here in the middle. Ain't that neat. Alrighty. We're about to wrap this up. Let's see if we can move this jewel down here one more notch. Grab it with that. Put it right over there. Put a couple more sticks on here. Woo! Man, that fire's hot. Mm -hmm. We'll just put a couple of sticks on here. Keep it going. I think it would right there. Yeah, we got some coals going now. All right, Nick. Let's see. There you go. Hold your cup right. Come over here where my hand is so I can see you. About right here. Alright. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot something. <laughs> Nick, can you see it? Can they see your shirt? Oh, yeah. Bigfoot saw me, but nobody believes him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, let's see what we can do right here. Let's see if I can catch this on camera. Real quick. Let's see what we can do here. All right, hold your cup up. All right. All right. 
Nick likes it strong. Mm-hmm. We know scoop. No. <laughs> it's light, Nick. Now where's my thing at? Here it is. Right, let's try this. Now, uh, let's see. <clears throat> see if I can pull this off. Woo, doggy. All right, can you see the steam off of it? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the steam off of it. All right, you ready? I'm going to try to yep. do this without burning you. Right there. Fresh hot, coffee. Hot, hot, hot what coffee. Oh, it mm -hmm. smells good. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you, guys. All right. I think I might need a little cup. See if I can make a cup here. I figure this will be a fun way of spending our last. I think we got four minutes of battery. See if you can get the bug in yours. The bug. <laughs> That's what Dad always says. That's how you can tell a real man. Because he has bugs in his. You get you get bugs in your coffee. You know what? Mm -hmm. Real so men. Better. Real men don't use a tarp for their floor either. They just lay right in the leaves and the and the, yep. the duff and everything. <laughs> So far, I've accidentally crushed a slug and a spider by, by like, like when shifting around, yeah. putting my hand on the ground, I've actually like, crushed some stuff. That's fine. I think I look down, there's a dead spider in my hand. Like, where did that come from? Now we can use that. Well, I use the leather for, uh, I use the leather for, um, pulling the pot on and off the fire, but for actual pouring, you need a handle. All right. Here, give me your spoon. You want it back? Yeah. Here you go. Alrighty. I think we're about ready to wrap this little jewel up right here. Uh, I hope you get the basic idea. Uh, as usual, I'm always pressed for time. Uh, I guess I showed you. You get the basic idea. I mean, there's no really reason, big reason to beat it into the ground. You understand the way it looked on the back side is the way the whole thing is supposed to look. And uh, we're going to bring all that firewood in here and set it up and then set up this bed then hopefully we'll have some light. You can see, I, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but the smoke is rising. But anyway, we got about, we ain't got much daylight left. We got about 20 minutes of daylight. So. <clears throat> All right. Oh, me. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Uh, we certainly had fun. Before I close, Nick, have you got anything to say? Mm. Don't burn your shelters down. Yeah. Did you hear that? The master has spoken. Don't burn your shelters down. Don't have a fire this close to leaves. <laughs> is this stuff here, is this too hot to drink yet? Oh, I don't, I'm not drinking it while I still see steam pouring off of it. You can sip on it. <laughs> it's not that bad. Here, sip on it. Try it. Just don't poke yourself in the eye with a spork. I should probably take that out. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, we're good to go, ain't we? Hot. All right, <clears throat> until the next one, we had fun. We hope you learned something if you get a chance. Every chance you get, get off the couch and get out and have fun and enjoy life. Okay, we do. It's not as often as we'd like it to be, but we do. All right, so I shall see you in the next one. See you later. Man, that's some good coffee. Man. It should be stronger. <laughs> stronger. <laughs> It'll be stronger in the morning. Oh, all the stuff's down there. What's the all the junk that fell on it? I was trying to pour it off of it. Look at that. There's a piece of leaf in mine. <laughs> so I'm Dude, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It ain't bad at all. How did it get tilted over? I just did that. What'd you do that for? On purpose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was looking at that. Right. See, that's pretty cool with it open. Still getting the smoke coming out the smoke hole because of the, the funnel shape. It's hot smoke is rising, coming out the top. That's what we want to see.